And there you have it, the governor's State of the State address for 2023 as this year's legislative session began earlier today. Governor Ivey talking a lot, as you heard, about education. She says that is her top priority as governor, and it's why she says by the end of her term, she wants teachers in Alabama to have the highest starting salaries anywhere in the southeast. That's why tonight she proposed a 2% increase for teacher salaries salaries all across the state. Now, speaking of finances, the state's budgets are in good shape this year. There's quite a surplus, according to the state's finance director. And that's why Governor Ivey tonight called on the legislature to give some of that money back. She wants a one-time rebate of $400 per taxpayer passed by the state legislature. She also talked about programs that would benefit small businesses and entrepreneurs, and she talked a little bit about House Bill 1, which would crack down on fentanyl traffickers here in, uh, the, here in the state of Alabama. Of course, we all know about the epidemic of fentanyl and just how deadly that drug can be. Now, Democratic State Representative, Representative Anthony Daniels is joining us here in just a moment to talk a little bit about um, what the Democratic Party thought about the governor's speech. We also expect him to share with us a a little bit about what the Democratic Party's priorities are in this upcoming legislative session. We all know there is a supermajority of Republicans in both the House and the Senate, so they will call the shots. But in the interest of fairness, we want to give Democrats their fair share uh, and their opportunity to speak out as well. Again, State Representative Anthony Daniel should be joining us in just a few minutes to talk a little bit about a Democratic perspective. As we uh, wait his uh, arrival here at the sp uh, spot where our camera is located in the rotunda, we can talk a little bit more about the governor's education priorities, since after all, we did talk about how education is her top priority. She says she wants to create a new health care focused high school that would be in the city of Demopolis in West Alabama. She says she also wants the state to join in helping to establish the Sabin Center. We've talked a little bit about that before. That is a special STEM training program that is being established in the city of Tuscaloosa in conjunction with the city of Tuscaloosa and the Sabin family, Alabama football coach Nick Sabin and his wife Terry Sabin. In fact, Terry Sabin was here in the audience. She was the governor's uh, guest for the State of the State speech tonight, and uh, she was also recognized in that speech. The governor also said that she would call a special session of the Alabama legislature within this regular session, just as she did last year. And that special session will allow lawmakers to address ARPA funds, that is federal money from the uh, federal government that is designed to help states recover from the COVID-19 pandemic. It's likely that that money will be spent to improve infrastructure around the state. 